I, I just couldn't hold back, which is why I had to make this video. Um, Trump is getting an awful lot of heat for supporting the, for, for stepping out of Syria. People say he's abandoning the Kurds. <clears throat> and I really think it's unjustified, and I'd like to explain why. Uh, I remember when Trump got a lot of heat for saying that we should trash NATO. Um, and he was right. He was totally right. Why? Because Turkey is the second largest military in NATO. Turkey claims to be a, a U.S. ally, and at one point it was in World War II and afterwards. Erdogan is an Islamist. Erdogan sees America as the great Satan. People who don't understand that do not understand Turkey. Turkey is the big wild card. Um, you can't attack a NATO ally. Turkey is a NATO ally for better or worse, until they're not. NATO should be trashed because it was formed to combat the Soviet Union. And it's way out of date, which is why we end up having to ally with a country that basically hates us and is buying Soviet military hardware. So Trump is caught in a difficult spot. He cannot fire on Turkish troops. Because Turkey is an ally, a NATO ally, at least on paper. Even if it is to support the Kurds, the Tur Tur Turkish government classifies them, and so does the U.S. State Department, the Kurdish organizations in Syria, they class they're classified by the U.S. State Department, by several European countries, by the EU, and by Turkey as a um, terrorist organization. That's also a problem. Okay, so he can't stand in the way of Turkish troops that are rolling into Syria. Even if it is to support the Kurds. So his, his stepping back was an unfortunate necessity. At the same time, he's giving some very serious threats to Turkey about economic sanctions. Well, guess what? The Turks shot, shot down a Soviet warplane, and the Soviets responded by, by putting down heavy, heavy economic sanctions, and it worked. The Turks towed the line and acted like good little boys, so much so that now they're closer to being Soviet allies. I think, strangely enough, I'm not a big fan of Trump, um, but you know something? The guy is right. You can't attack Turkey. You can't fire on Turkey. Also, I want to point out that the European Union, the European nations, are refusing to repatriate and take care of their own citizens who joined and fought with ISIS in Syria. Trump is doing the heavy lifting. He's doing the dirty work and he's getting crap for it. And it kind of gets me angry. Yeah, the Kurds. But he's doing the best he can for them. And you know what he says he's doing and what he is doing? He's looking out for America's best interests. And he is. So before, and, and I remember, I'm old enough to remember when Obama, Obama, didn't do anything about Syria. It is Obama's fault that, a, that over a quarter million Syrians are dead. He made red lines for chemical weapons, didn't do anything. Trump bombed Assad forces when they used chemical weapons. And no one said, yay! Everyone's like, oh, World War III, what's he doing? What is he doing? He's making sure that a despot does not get away with murder, mass murder. So you know something? He's doing the right thing. He really is. People who criticize him, I suggest you go look at the facts. Look at the situation. I'm not a big fan of Trump. But this is a really... Messed up situation that he inherited.
And he's dealing with it. He's dealing with it well. You got to put the, put the Turks in their place. And when we get out of this, we should listen to him when he says, reassess the NATO agreements. He's right. You don't have to like him. But do not criticize him when he gets it right.